Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Old Mod 7. Now, in the past few episodes, we've been slowly chipping away at auto-crafting the ATM star, and we've made pretty good progress. We currently have the pulsating black hole and the, um, uh, what's the other one called? Uh, the Philosopher's Stone, pretty much done. As you can see, the pulsating black hole is available. The Philosopher's Stone, everything's auto-craftable. We just need uranium. I might be able to tackle that this episode. As per usual, though, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, before we get to doing that, what I'm probably going to do is just try to see if we can get uh, one of these other ones completed, right? Because I, I feel like the uranium could be a rabbit hole that we fall down. So I'd rather make sure we guaranteed get something done than try and see what we do about the uh, uranium. Um, so we've got Dragon Souls and we've got Nexium Emitters. Now, the Nexium Emitter, this guy should be pretty easy. Um, I believe we have the actual... Oh, you know what? Let's search Nexium. No, we don't have that recipe. Sure. Why that? That, make, that makes sense. So, Nexium Emitter. Beautiful. Um, next up is what? Du, 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 du. Singularities and Overclocked Heat Vents. Now, uh, Singularities, we have 122 of them. We're not going to need to craft those anytime soon. Uh, overclocked Heat Vents, though, I believe we do. So, as you can see, we've got like all the plates auto-crafted. All we need is these little like uh, vents in the middle. And then we have all of this auto-crafted. I thought we did auto-craft the entire thing before, but... For whatever reason, we didn't, but it does not matter because we now have the Nexium emitter. I think fully, fully auto craftable, almost. Player aerial pearls. Um, we can actually auto craft this. <sighs> As you can tell by the sigh, it's not exactly. I mean, like it's. We can do it. It's just I've got to put in a bit of work, and I'd rather not. But hey, listen, we're here. We might as well. So what I'm going to do is use a mob. Uh, duplicator. I think this is the way to go. So we'll auto craft this stuff or, you know, what? that makes more sense. Let's add a recipe for it. Um, we'll chuck that in there as well. All right. Mob duplicator, get him built. So what we're going to need to do is we'll have to order, um, essentially, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Uh, aerial pearl. Oh, here it is. Um, the player aerial pearl is a normal aerial pearl used on a zombie or a husk. Um, so we're going to use the player duplicator. Um, in order to duplicate a zombie or something. Now, do we have a zombie? We can grab a zombie, and then I can just uh, put it in an imprisonment tool. That's easily done. Uh, but my follow-up was... What was my follow-up? <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to catch up mentally here. Um, we can use this and a player simulator in order to uh, interact here. Or, something I've sort of been having a little bit... Uh, I don't know if it's better or if it's worse. I, I don't know what it is in relation, but... I've actually been enjoying the um, using the deployers as like a little alternative to the player simulator. So I, I want to give it a shot um, and, and we'll see how this goes. So in terms of positioning, kind of doesn't matter too much. I guess we'll slap it down. Really, uh, I'm wondering if we bother, bother with that quarry. Let, let's place it like right here. It's an interesting spot, but well, why not? So we'll have our duplicator. Um, sure, it can be there. It will obviously spawn something um, right above it. Uh, do, 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 do. We'll grab glass to place around it so that, you know, I don't know, it's a little bit nicer, I guess. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Obviously, with a zombie inside, we want to make it a... Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, you know what? I picked the worst spot because that thing's so loud. Uh, we want to have, like, tinted glass or something at the top just to, you know, just to block some light. There we go. Beautiful. So, a zombie can spawn on here and it shouldn't die. Um, in terms of the configuration here, we should be okay. We can do um, run on pulse. So when we give it a redstone pulse, it'll spawn a mob. Bingo, bango. That sounds pretty good to me. Um, awesome. So we can obviously keep that in there. Wonderful. Um, the deployer, it is going to be arguably right where I just broke that block, <laughs> unfortunately. But uh, let's see. I think I want to place it like that. And so it will push the aerial pearl into a zombie that is right there. That is the idea. We'll see if it works. Um, in terms of this guy here, we'll probably... I was going to entangle him. Let's be honest. The, the real solution here is to set up a little network real quick. So we'll grab all this stuff out and do that. So we're going to have a receiver here. Why not? Receiver, hit that with the network card. Go over to our little network bridge we have over here. Slap him down. Oh, if he wants to open, chuck him in. And now, as you can see... That took our entire network offline. This has been like an ongoing issue we've been having. Let me break this. Um, we're currently using too much power. N not in terms of actual power, but in terms of like controller capacity. 
Uh, and we've been having to sort of deal with that a little bit. I think I should do what needs to be done, <laughs> which is start replacing some of these crafters with uh, upgraded ones. Obviously, I I'd rather not have to do that right now, but we have to. I it's worth doing, you know. It it'll allow us to actually be able to do things, <laughs> which is obviously always a good idea. Boom, boom. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good for now. Um, okay, so crafter, for example, we grab creative crafter. Um, and then I pretty much just make a horrific mess like this. Buckle in. Lots of items are about to drop on the ground. Or not. Boom, 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 boom. But yeah, so, so this should not only uh, save space, because obviously these crafters are just bigger in general, um, as you can see, but also should use less power, uh, which is going to be very beneficial. So I'll keep doing this. Fingers crossed that, um, that it's working. It's just the capacity seemed off, but I guess... Yeah, sure. I mean, hey, look, it appears to be working. <laughs> sure. Um, so yeah, I'll do obviously the same for the rest of these. These uh, creative crafters use no power, so they're not a strain on the system in the slightest, which is beautiful. Okay, these have been replaced. Fingers crossed that that helps out. What we can do if, if we want to just double check to see what the big... Uh, I, I sort of know what the big troublemaker is. I'm pretty sure it's this guy here. He eats a lot of power, um, but we can't really do anything about that. If we open this guy up, we can see, right? Wireless transmitter, 8,000 power. Then we have some exporters and crafters and transmitters. And they're sort of our, our heavy hitters. And then all the creative stuff at the bottom isn't. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's just sort of where we stand. Um, the network transmitters, I don't believe there's such thing as a creative network transmitter. So we're sort of stuck using these guys. Which, it's fine. You know, we, we can do it. <laughs> but, 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 yeah. Um, this sign, by the way, we're going to do... Um, Aerial Pearl. I think that's how you spell it. Who knows? That, that's how it's spelled now. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, okay, so over here we have this structure. We now have the network over here. So we're going to do exporters. Make sure we get these guys uh, cooked up. We should have these kept in the system. I don't know why we don't. We'll figure it out. One's going to go there. On this guy will go a crafter. Well, once again, don't fall for the creative craft uh, or for the diamond crafter uh, trick. Grab this guy, place this guy here, sw switch him around. He should place items in here. That, that It should work. It should just simply work. Um, we'll grab a chest as well. This guy's going to have an importer as well as an item collector. Beautiful. Everything is slowly coming together. Okay, so chest here, item collector on top. Um, we can lower the range to just be a 3x3. Three three. That should be plenty fine, pl plenty good. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows which word I'm meant to be saying there. Then we'll grab cables. I'm also thinking, what's that, an importer? Exporter? Yeah, the, you're meant to be an importer. Um, what I'm thinking is... Oh, he's already working. Um, I don't know what I'm thinking. What was I thinking? I, I'm sure there was something good. Oh yeah, that is... I'm not sure if it even leaves the deployer when it turns into the pearl that we want. I, I'm not sure what it does here, so we're going to find out. Um, obviously, we need a recipe. Do we have any pattern terminals close by? Uh, it looks like there's one here. Pattern grid, beautiful. So we want the recipe for the this dude. Um, so it is going to be uh, uh, one of you equals one of you. Pretty simple stuff, nothing too crazy. Um, and that will obviously go into this guy here. Um, he'll do a number of things, but at the moment that should be fine. Um, for starters, let's make sure that, the, that this guy's running, the mob duplicator. So in here, we're going to do what? We're going to switch it to fluid mode. I'm going to search essence. I'm going to drag in some sort of mob essence. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe this stuff. Does that go in? Not currently, but I'm going to guess that we don't have that then. Uh, let's open our grid. Go into fluid. We have memory essence. We have a lot of memory essence. Memory essence is from Pneumatacraft. <laughs> sure. Can I put memory essence in here? I'll be honest, I don't think I can. But it's converted all my stuff into this liquid, so I'd love if it could, but no, it's not going to. Awesome. Um, instead, we need to use this stuff, Fluid XP, and hope that that works. So, uh, go in here, then search Fluid XP. Hopefully, that'll work. Fluid XP. Um, it's acting as if it's not, which is a problem, obviously. What do we have going into the guy up here, then? Oh, oh, yeah, I, I know what we're doing. We're running this pipe. So he, he's sort of like latching on before it gets there. But then it goes in here and it becomes the wrong fluid. Okay. 
I, I, I sort of get what's happening. Oh, no, you know what? I kind of don't get what, what's happening. I don't really... I'm not too sure. Uh, what we might just do instead is entangle a block over here. I think that is just a nice and easy play that we can do. So we'll go ahead and place this guy there. Uh, we'll place him on here. Because he needs to be connected to one of these like uh, non-glassed uh, see-through bits, if that makes sense. Oh, we, we already had him entangled. Oh, easy. We came prepared. I need to have a little bit more faith in myself. Uh, entangle this guy. If we then pick up this pipe, and then you got to be quick before it breaks everything. But you place him down, you'll see he reconnects. And everything's flowing again. So this guy should be filling up, as you can see in the top left. Beautiful. He won't need to run often, so he doesn't need like an infinite supply. He should be good. Grab an indigate, chuck him on. Bada bing, bada boom. He's ready. All he needs is a pulse. Here's where the fun begins. I'm going to get an entity reader. Ah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do an entity reader. I, I, I'll be honest, I don't necessarily think this is going to work the way that I want it to already. I haven't even started placing this stuff, but I'm pretty confident that it's just not going to. Um, but we'll try. We'll, I'll, I'll try, okay? I'll, I'll try. So, um, the entity reader and all this stuff, it's actually going to go on this middle block. So, we'll go ahead and get a piece of dirt and slap him there. So, we'll have an entity reader, and then the uh, redstone rider is going to be down here. So, I guess I'll move the end gate a little bit, and that should be fine. And you can go there. Why aren't you picking stuff? I guess I guess it's not in the range. Sure, sure, sure. So I'll place this here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, Hey, you. Um, if there's an entity... Uh, I don't think that works that way. We'll, we'll see what I can do. Mm -hmm. eh. I want to I wanna essentially say, Hey, if, if it's an entity, I'll put a redstone signal. But I don't know if I can get away with that. I don't know if we're allowed to. Uh, let me craft a stack of these real quick. Grab two more. Um, what if I search... Is entity? Is that an option? Entity is mob. So if I do this, so if the entity that it is looking at is a mob, sure, I'll put a redstone signal. Sounds good to me. Um, for this, we will need a variable store, which needs these blocks. We'll, get, we'll grab a few of those and grab one of these. Beautiful. Uh, okay. Listen, it looks like it's working. <laughs> oh, but sorry, I, I, I realized something else we need to do. We sort of need to invert it, right? We need to say if it's not an entity. Huh. How do we do that? Um, <laughs> yeah. I need to do not. Is not. If the entity in there is not. Yeah. How do I do this? <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't really know. Um... Here's what else I was thinking. I was thinking we could grab uh, from the reader the list of entities, right? And we could say, uh, I think we can do a contains. And we can say, hey, if this list contains an entity, output redstone signal. But see, we, don't, we want it to be the opposite. How, I need to know how to flip this. How do I do the opposite? How do I say, if the list contains an entity, don't output a redstone signal. Otherwise, yes. Um... I really don't know. I'm not sure how to do that. Uh, run with no redstone signal. Yeah, we, we could do that. We could do that. Run with no redstone signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I think I think this actually works. So currently, we've got a list. We're, we're saying if the list contains an entity, output a redstone signal. And then we're going to tell this guy, hey, I want you to run when you have no redstone signal. So currently, there's no mob there. So he's outputting a redstone signal. And he's running. Now there's a mob, which means now there's a redstone signal, which means now he's not running. How simple is that? Nice and simple. Job complete. We have ourselves a little a little dude over here. Um, so next up, we grab a motor. We grab an ender gate again. And we hook this guy up. This should be uh, pretty simple if I can figure out how to place this stuff. Um, oh, I thought we almost messed up. Okay, power this guy up. He's doing his thing. Beautiful. So I should be able to search... For this, um, what do I need to do? The recipe is in there. Oh, the final piece of the puzzle. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so this guy should light up. Beautiful. So now I can order a finished one. And let's see if it Hey, talk about things working. That worked perfectly. That worked phenomenally perfectly. So then, can I order another one? Huh. It appears this deployer contains excess items that need to be extracted, which is an empty aerial pill. No, he needs the normal player pill extracted. So 
what I'm going to have to do possibly is grab an importer on the bottom of this guy um, and tell him not just to take everything out, but specifically the finished aerial pearls. I think that gets the job done. Um, so currently, if we check uh, on what's happening, oh, everything, everything's good. I order another one. Um, oh, sorry. It's set to blacklist. We, we obviously wanted the flipped around. Oh God. Uh, so if we cancel this, try it one more time. Uh, order one. As you can see, he gets it. He picks up that guy. We have no overflow. This guy's empty. Another mob should be spawning. There he is. Hey, that's pretty good. That That's honestly phenomenal. Automated aerial pearls. So now my Nexium emitter is auto craftable. How cool is that? Hey, job well done. Um, what we could do now, we have two options. One is obviously the uranium. We try and tackle that. Yeah, we could probably do it. Sure. There is something else, and that is the dragon soul. This guy's a little bit trickier, but I th someone had a great suggestion the other day. Um, a few suggestions in terms of how we can possibly get this guy up and running as well. Um, so, dragon soul, we don't have the recipe for it, so let's go ahead and start adding it. So, this is the recipe. <laughs> um, in terms of what we have from it, we are going to need piglet hearts, which we have automated, I believe. Empty soul gem, dragon's breath, possibly all already automated and a nature arc of some sort. Sure. So, we have the dragon soul. The empty soul gem is going to be an occult ritual. <sighs> Automating this stuff is a nightmare. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll see. I'll leave it for now, but we'll, we'll, we'll look into it. Uh, dragon's breath, we can also do. In terms of dragon's breath, we have 62. If we don't make 62 stars, I think we're good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, like, I, I think that's fine. Uh, same with these like empty, like this thing. I could probably just mass produce it once and then we're good. But that, I mean, that's not automated, right? I, I, I don't mind not automating this dragon's breath because realistically, like a dragon prediction, relatively easy to get, just time consuming. Even autom uh, probably not automating this guy, but like you go into the end once, you hold down right click, like... If we make 62 stars, I'm sure you know how to get yourself an, an Ender Dragon prediction. It's just, it's beyond, I, I don't need it. You know what I mean? Um, now listen, listen, listen. We could do it just for the sake of doing it if we really wanted to. Okay, so let, let, let me know how you feel on that on that regard. Um, so, currently as it stands, we either tear our eyes out trying to do this empty soul gem. Or, we try the nature arc. Now, the nature arc, there were some really good ideas. Some ideas involved um, attempting to defeat it with, say, um, radiation. That wasn't a bad idea. Have it sort of uh, radiate itself. The, it's currently out in the hills over here, I believe. Um, oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, the Starlit Crusher. Somewhere here. here it is. He's currently in a stasis field. And what we need to do is figure out how to, how to kill him. He's got 250 health. He's... Weak to mo or he's strong to most things. We can spam click him, and this will kill him. It'll it'll chip through him. Hmm. Okay. Hear me out. We bring out the trusty deployer. This thing can attack. It's with it's well within its ability to attack. So we do that. We search um unobtainium, and I attempt to make myself another unobtainium sword. Just be just you know so that I can keep my sword and perhaps <laughs> I quite like my sword. Uh, believe it or not. Uh, so we'll grab this guy. Get him on the ready. Uh, we'll go deployer. We'll obviously grab the motor. And then the uh, the other thing. By the way, in the motor department, let's get 10 more of those cooking. <laughs> We're probably going to use them eventually. Might as well get them going. Okay, so this guy's here. I'm going to keep this relatively simple. Uh, sorry about the field of view in a second. This stasis chamber really messes me up. So I, I do apologize. Oh, he can't place blocks while he exists. Okay, Ugh. I'm sorry if you don't know what this means, but it means I'm probably going to be whacking this guy. Oh, unless there's one more thing, possibly using the spear on him might knock him down. Oh, beautiful. And then I, I know you can't necessarily see the boss bar for whatever reason, but this does massive damage to him once he's uh, sitting down. As you can, you can actually see it in the top left. We should be hitting him for a lot more than we were, perhaps. 
Oh, you know what? I think the stasis chamber keeps him in this position the whole time. Hey, that wow. That is pretty easy to do then. That is really, really good. Very interesting. Okay, so I'll, I'll defeat this guy. This isn't going to take... I mean, it's going to take a while, as you can see in the top left. But it's not going to take as long as I thought it would. Um, the, the problem is that the stasis chamber heals him. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of, yeah, what the best approach is. Because we could... We could have, like, lava and stuff. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it'll do. Because they're not really... Usually, you never get the chance, I guess. And so, we sort of get some creative uh, options over here. I dev I want to try the deployer. I do want to try that. Maybe I should try it on a normal mob first. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty... Con I reckon we could do it. I, I reckon we could do it. Okay, he's defeated. He drops some loot. He makes a mess. Bada bing, bada boom. We also got... I guess all the mob master and greed. I'm sure he broke a mob master. I'm guessing that's what that was from. Um, so once again, the deploy is going to go roughly here. Sure. Oh God. It's very, very horrendous. Um, we're also going to hop down here, um, and see if I can place you there. And I'm going to place the player simulator here. Not a bad idea. Not the worst idea we've ever had. Um, by the way, we might as well open this guy up. What do we get? Nature arc. Beautiful. It wasn't the best one. But it's, uh, you know, it's one, I guess. Um, and, and yeah, we want to make sure that all this stuff's hooked up and ready to go. Because once we obviously spawn another one, we don't really get too many second chances. Um, so we place this. Obviously, we want it to go full speed. So that's what it's going to be doing. It will have a sword on it. And I think I need to pull out a wrench to configure this guy. Because see, now he's in punch mode. And I think if we equip that, yeah, now it looks like he's properly attacking. So that could work. It could. And we're going to hope that it does. That's that's what that is. Uh, the chest will go here. That. And this. And so that should allow us to also try the player simulator for attacking. That should also work. Or, or you know, be a thing that we can try at least. Um, in terms of anything else, I don't know. I'm not sure if we have anything else. I don't really know. Um, what I will definitely need to bring with me is the Yoinka. Because that is how we actually pick up this guy to be able to use him. Red Merchant, yep. Um, I reckon we're ready. I reckon we're ready to give it a shot. <laughs> the only other thing I was thinking of was actually placing lava, but I, th I think we're fine. Um, so, oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Let's spawn this guy. Or at least attempt to. So this should fill up. There he is. We pick him up. We go ahead and... Oh, am I, oh I can break it. Beautiful. We're going to place him down right there. There he is. He's in the stasis chamber. Oh, and look at his taking damage. Oh my god. He's taking enough damage that he's losing health. You can see it's going down more than it's rising. We're about to go into the 29th. Now listen, he's not losing a crazy amount of damage. But it's also only one of these guys. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold on to the phone. Hold it tightly. Riddle me this. Riddle me this, Batman. What if we hit him with another one? You know what I mean? What if we just... Now the beauty of these swords, not just the damage, is they're indestructible, right? So you get, you get a lot to uh, work with here. Um, so, Deployer, grab you. By the way, once again, Deployers, we're using a lot of you. Let's go ahead and craft some more. Um, I should be able to place you right there as well. Ho, 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 ho. Um, set him into punching mode. Give him a sword. Looks good to me. Go ahead and place this guy right there. Okay, so now he's being hit by two of them. Oh, and they are alternating. So... What we're seeing here, I think he is taking more damage more often. He, he's not necessarily taking more damage, but it's just more often. He's having less off time, I guess. Um, and they're all turning quite nicely. So, hey, listen, this is pretty good. Obviously, there's a delay in between each potential hit, but we're looking pretty good. I do want to try another unobtainium sword. We might as well. We've got the stuff. I want to try it in the player simulator. Uh, just to see if somehow that does like some crazy stuff, you know what I mean? I mean, who knows? Who knows? It could. So inside this is going to go a sword. I'm going to have it uh, click. I'm going to open this guy up and I'm going to have him left click with the right hand. Continuous. Oh, I think you can even hear it maybe. Yeah. I think it's doing it. It's. I don't necessarily know if anything visible is happening. But he is doing it. We can scroll this guy down to say, uh, like nothing, right? So he, it's currently not functioning. And you can see he's still taking damage. And he's taking it as physically fast as possible. 
Thanks to the play simulator. He's using this sword. That's pretty good. 50 health. I mean, he's taking a lot of damage. We could chuck our sword in. And what we'll see is possibly a little bit more damage happening. Regardless, though, we're looking pretty good in the department of uh, defeating this guy. Now, another option we have is using the spear. Somehow, if we can have the spear be sent out of, like, a dispenser, for example, then we can have him be uh, flat on the ground. And the benefit of that is, obviously, um, he takes a lot more damage. I mean, listen... We are right on the cusp of, of full automation here. I don't think we even bother with these electric motors. I don't think there's a point. Just simply thanks to what we've seen. So we can go ahead and break all that stuff. Obviously, oh god, pick up all this. Try not to get messed up too much. Um, beautiful. We've got some stuff on us that we probably don't need to have. Now that we've picked all that up. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, phenomenal. Phen phenomenal work happening at the moment. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this dispenser. Um, because there's a few options you have with the dispenser, right? So, oh god, oh god, sorry. Let's turn that off for now, just so I can stand here. Hey, I, I turned you off. No, I turned you on. What? Okay, the, it does nothing. <laughs> Run with redstone signal. There we go. Oh my god, we can. Oh, that, that was woozy. <laughs> that was that was very. That was too woozy. Um, let's place this guy here. Because there's few spears. We were currently using the starlit spear, which um. Returns to us, built-in loyalty. But there's also just a normal... Um, no, oh, sorry, the Soulbound Spear. There's also all these other spears that you can use as well. And... Well, I guess they're not exactly the cheapest. But Moonstone? Do we have Crazy Moon... We've got Crazy Moonstone. We can do it. In fact, it'll probably drop on the ground. Oh, yeah, hold on. It probably will. So you could probably grab this guy. You could probably grab, say, a Smithing Table. And you could probably... Oh, I don't know. Grab an Eternal Stellar, right? And then you can probably eternal this guy. Have him function. He goes in there. You press a button. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. Oh, obviously not a button. It'll be like automated. Um, we get a item collector. I'm, I'm really, I'm having faith that this will work. Hold on. Let's, let's give it one quick test to make sure that it does actually fire the thing. You don't really shoot it though, do you? He just sort of, eh. <laughs> he's, he's, he might as well be a dropper. What are you doing? Is is my magnet just like too powerful? Is that would he actually shoot it? No, he's just throwing it. He's just he's just throwing it in the distance. He's like, eh, eh, eh. Um, do we have something that will shoot? Offshoot observer shooting mark. We need a um we need a dispenser that actually dispenses, that actually shoots. But al allegedly we cannot. I do have an idea. I, I want to try something. If we change this guy to right click, we take this guy out, and what happens if I place in a spear? It doesn't. It doesn't shoot the spear or anything, right? Like, oh, oh, oh I, th oh, I think it does. It definitely does something. There's clearly a spear uh, doing something. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing it. Okay. Yeah. So we'll sacrifice that spear. That spear, I don't think we're ever getting it back for whatever reason. But the potential is there. Okay, so you go in there. You keep swinging. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he'll figure out what he's doing in a second. Um, And we'll now get another... Uh, yeah, another player simulator. Okay, we're... We're on the cusp of greatness here. Like, honestly, a really good, uh, really good thing that we're doing. Uh, so let's grab you. Let's grab you. Um, and we'll give it a shot. Alrighty, variable card. Click item. We want it to be a right click, right hand. Sure, it can be continuous. Why not? Um, and more importantly, we want a spear. Um, we'll craft a new one just for the sake of, uh, not losing all my good stuff. Um, what do we have? We've got some of this? Sure. Um, don't know what we made it out of, but it's in there now. And we wait. And. Patiently. Oh. He throws a spear. And that's where it goes. Now. The issue is, we don't really have a way to pick it back up, do we? For whatever reason it is. Once it goes, it's gone. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't hit the ground. Now, that sounds like a bad thing, but what if... Oh, actually, this one, yeah, looked like a despawn, maybe. Hmm. I was going to say, what if it was stuck in where the uh, 
where the dude spawns. That like that's not a bad idea. Um, I kind of want to sacrifice our soulbound one to be honest, purely because there's a chance it like comes back to it. You know what I mean? Like it's I mean it's physically possible, right? It's possible. Um, I'm trying to think because I, I mean let's be honest. We don't need these that often that this guy is not just fast enough without having to drop the stuff. It would be nice to have him drop the stuff as well, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, I, I won't lose sleep over it. Um, so I, th I think we are good as we are. Um, so all we need now is what I don't even, I don't even really know. Like, I think we're just good <laughs> as silly as that might sound. I'm pretty sure we're just good. I think I grab a chest. Um, oh, we do also need to make sure that this guy is somehow spawning it in the right spot. And that, once again, that might sound silly, but it's genuinely a, a slight issue because he doesn't really like spawning in the right spot. Um, okay. Let's take out width modifiers. And then we'll offset it uh, more in the east direction. Okay, so we're going to go more east if we can. We cannot! Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a feeling this guy's going to need to be entangled again. So we'll pick him up. I'll, I'm going to move him over what? Two blocks. That'll be one, two. That'll be the center. Yeah. Yeah. Because one, two. Sure. Sure. I, I think this works. So we'll pick him up. It's going to make a bit of a mess. It's going to be a bit of a problem, but I'm sure we can figure this out. Uh, give it enough time. Uh, so we'll move this over. Grab a dirt. So he was here. Oh, now he's going to be here and here. So he will be literally right here, I think. I guess we can place him up one. I don't think it matters too much where he goes. Um, show area. That's the area. Obviously, we want to push him to the east. Um, we want to put in some of these width modifiers. Boom. Maybe that. And then we go east. And that's right smack bang over the center here. Sounds wonderful to me. If we want, we can have it go up again, just so that it's in some nice open air. And I think it'll just keep spawning on that spot. I don't think that's a problem. Let's turn this guy on so that he's working, functional, doing his thing. I'm going to entangle this guy, make sure he's receiving all the goodies. I think he was entangled right here. Um, or not. I thought that was him, but no, that, I guess that makes sense. So where is he? He's getting jelly babies somewhere. <laughs> where are we producing jelly babies? I guess is the next big question. We're producing them here. We've got this chest. I don't know how we're getting the stuff there. It must be... I mean, it has to be entangled. So it must be back here. We must now have a second air thing. But we don't. What's going on? I mean, it's possible it just wasn't never automated. <laughs> I, I, I guess. Sure. Um, so what we're probably going to do is have a pipe. Yeah, I guess we just had stuff in there manually. Uh, so we'll need a new entangled block. That should be fine. I, I think we can get this guy done um, and, and set up and that should be good. So you'll be entangled there. Wonderful. Um, obviously, we want to get an item pipe of some sort. Apparently, we don't have those lying around. Item pipe. Boom. Let's go ahead and have you extract. So you should fill up with jelly babies. Beautiful. We can fly back over here. We've got a little bit more work to do. Um, so, in particular, this guy obviously needs the spawn egg. And then I think he's good to go. We could also put speed in. We don't necessarily need it. Um, we do have a bit of a problem as well being... I don't actually know the best way to get this guy to not just keep spawning them. You know what I mean? Does it? Well, well I guess, does he spawn more than one at a time? I don't think so, right? I think he just spawns the one that he can. And he goes from there. <laughs> he's pretty... Oh, you know what? I reckon he does need redstone. Um... That's fine, I guess. Let's let's turn it on. So I I, I do want to see what happens. Okay, he didn't even spawn one. Uh, I mean that could be a problem. Let's lower the height there. Okay, attempting spawn. So he's still not able to do it. I'm gonna put in another width modifier and send it another bit east. I don't particularly know what the problem is. I'll, I'll keep trying different heights and stuff. I think we do need another one of these. See, he spawns right on the crafter. Obviously, I mean, we, we just... To put it simply, we don't want that. <laughs> we just don't. Uh, and I don't really know how to solve this problem. 
Oh, so he does keep spawning. Let's turn that off. Hold on. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, place that guy there too. Sure. Alrighty. Um, now I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to try to wrap this up relatively quickly. That guy's done. That should be fine and easy. Um, th this should be fine. I should be able to slap this guy underneath. Uh, we also have some range upgrades, so that should be extra doable. Um, you can go away. Oh, we're putting a bunch of stuff away that we probably shouldn't. Uh, lever. Beautiful. Okay. So, I'm going to try to slap this guy underneath here. Because he, he appears to spawn right above himself. We can chuck in some height modifiers. Obviously, we want to put the width back in. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> um, I think we ended up doing four. That should be good. Obviously, show area. Let's go up a bit. Probably up as ma as much as we can. Because he'll just land where he needs to go. So, like, I don't think that's necessarily an issue. Um, and in regards to everything else, I, th I think we're good. I, uh, I assume we're good. Chuck that guy in. Chuck in the Starlit Doohickey. Let's go ahead and grab a lever. Um, uh, yeah. I don't think he spawns if there's another mob in the specific spot he's on. Well, let's see. So it's attempting to spawn. This guy will fill up. And we might get one right where it needs to be. Survey says... We get one. Not where we need it to be. Which is a bit of a problem. We got another one. Also not where we need it to be. Um, let's go ahead and reduce that width. By quite a bit. Okay. We got one closer to where we need it to be. Let's go ahead and just take the width out. Now let's... Let's just, let's just take the width out. Can we get another one on here? We're having some slight technical difficulties, it seems. Let's grab you. Oh, okay. We have a bit of a problem. All right, as you can see, bit of an issue, slight issue. I'm gonna try to see if we can somehow use a range add-on to s sort this issue, but I, I'll be honest, I don't necessarily think we can. Um, we'll hop in here and. I'll try my hardest, I guess. Um, okay, I can't break blocks. I just need to open this guy up, but I don't think I can. All right, if I put a range upgrade in, we simply cannot. Okay, well that, I guess, solves part of that problem. Um, <sighs> I don't, I, I'm, not too, I'm not too sure. If we show the area, you can't really see anything, I guess. We essentially, we obviously, we want it to be here. That's where it should spawn. Obviously, if it's spinning, it'll spin like this eternally, so we want it to stop spinning somewhere else. Now, there is a backup idea. Uh, the backup idea honestly works a lot better, so we'll probably do it. And it might also be used uh, later on to do the wither setup. It's going to be using uh, warp portals. So we're going to want to get a warp uh, scroll, which looks like this, which honestly, I mean, that's what we want. Cool. <laughs> so we're going to grab this guy. Once these guys are defeated, which they're close, we've got 20 health and it looks like... 50 health on one of them, so we'll, we'll get there. Alright, this guy's gone. Yep, we've got a flower. Who would have saw it? Who, who would have seen it coming? Yep, hurry up. And we're going to pick this guy back up. And he's going to come with us. So, what we're also going to do is set this guy to run with redstone signal again. And we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, get that ready. I'm going to stand on top of here. We can get rid of this uh, thing for now. And I'm going to sneak right click to save this location. Boom. And we now have that location. What we're going to do next is I will go over to our magic area uh, over here. And I will require a full source jar. So I will pick this guy up that is full. I will grab another source uh, jar that is not full just to replace it. Because that's the good thing to do. Um, grab you. Oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. Boom, slabs. Grab stack of you. Yep, awesome. Yep, source jar. Yep, wonderful. Okay. <laughs> So you're going to go there. Oh. Okay. That's fine. I thought I broke something. No, I think we're good. Awesome. Wonderful. Okay. Well, let's go back. Um, so what we're going to do is make a portal. And the portal will lead back to where we did that uh, that scroll, that warp scroll. So right there. Um, so we can now go a little bit to the side. For example, over here. And clear out a nice little area. We can um, go ahead and place our spawner. Right? Get him ready, hooked up, he's good to go, he's got all the stuff he needs. Some height modifiers, wow, look at him, he's crazy, he's, he's crazy. Um, and then, we do something else. So, first things first, let's go ahead and place this guy back here, just to get it going, right? Just to, so I can get him killed. Uh, oh, actually, just before, you, oh, he was, he was too quick for us. I, I needed to press that button. Alright, so he's hooked up, he'll, he'll be dealt with. 
Okay, but now we have a mob yoinker. So over here, if this thing works, we can uh, we can give it a shot. So first things first is genuinely to we'll see if it'll work as it currently stands. So we'll go ahead and make a lever. Bada bing, bada boom. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, we can't build it because waiting on that guy. Oh god, it's it's painful. Um, I suppose I can pick you up and we can make a new mob yoinker. That probably is just simpler at this point, at least for the testing we want to do. So lever, turn him on. Let's see what happens. All we want is for one to at least just spawn here. That's that's all we want. If one spawns, we're good. One spawned, we're good. We can pick that guy up. Oh god, he made a mess, of course. Um, but yeah, awesome. So from there, what we need to do is build a frame out of arcane uh, bricks or arcane stone. This stuff right here. So we'll make some of it. Awesome. We might need more. We'll see what happens. And we're going to want to build it pretty much around where this guy spawns. So. We do have a few options here in terms of uh, moving the stuff in front of us. We can actually grab a mob yoinker, believe it or not. And we can pick this stuff up and just like <laughs> move it out of the way. Um, it still makes a mess, but it's somewhere else. <laughs> and so is it really a mess if it's somewhere else? Who knows? Um, so yeah, we've got this. I'm going to now build up a frame like so. And I'm going to build this out around the whole thing. Okay, we've got a beautiful frame here. Next thing, let's see if it spawns again. We want to make sure every step of the way that this thing works before we go ahead and waste all of our time. So he's going to try and spawn one, and he can. Beautiful. So we've got him picked up too. Wonderful. So we need to create a portal. Now, how do you do that? Well, a few things you got to do. First thing is you need to place a full source jar uh, near this guy so we can place him right there. Then what you need to do is you actually need to grab out the um, Airs Nouveau book because you forget how it actually works. <laughs> Throw a warp scroll with a written location into the frame. Warp scroll, written location, full source jar, boom. As you can see, some magic happens. If we toggle our shaders off, you can see there's a portal there now. So, what is next? Well, it is allegedly going to teleport right on top of the stasis chamber. That's what it's going to do. That's what the scroll says. We flick the lever and we cross our fingers. If this works, bada bing, bada boom. That's all I got to say. So let's see. He's over here. He's on the stasis chamber. Bob, Bob. The Bob is your uncle. Bob is your uncle currently. How cool is that? Now there's a little bit of things we can do just to uh, the icing on the cake. Pick this guy up. We'll go ahead and put him away for now. We'll, you know, we'll probably bring him back later. Maybe. I don't know. We might leave him there. Um, we should make it so that it's automated. So we should get an entity uh, reader. That obviously makes the most sense. Um, we want to... Oh, God. I apologize once again for all the horrendous stuff you're witnessing at the moment. Um, I never know the best way to do this. Oh, God. Bear with me. Place you there. Place you there. Hop under. Oh, God. Entity reader. Wonderful. Problem solved. Um, so what we're going to do is obviously cable it up, but we also want omnidirectional uh, connectors. Obviously, we want a full set of our own, so we're going to get some monodirectional. Um, boom. Craft an ingredient for you. Boom. Two of them will get us one omni. Beautiful. So, da -da 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 -da, place you there. Connect an omnidirectional. Um, and that is going to come over to this guy. So he'll be hooked up with a redstone rider and an omnidirectional here. So, that, so those two connectors are linked up. We can obviously uh, search for the redstone rider, slap that guy there. Um, we will need a variable store, so we'll go ahead and try to get our hands on one of those. This, this is beautiful. This, what a phenomenal um, setup we have we have we have put together here. Um, so we've got the logic thing on us. We will need some variables, three to be exact. And essentially, what we did for that uh, the zombie thing. So entity reader, we are going to well want a list and if the list contains an entity we're going to want it to emit redstone uh but then we want the opposite uh, okay th this actually isn't going to be as easy we can still make it work but it it'll be a little bit uglier we can grab a rider um we can also grab a cable we can place the rider here so it's going to right there and let's let, let's set up the magic so in here we're going to say contains and if the list contains an entity Output a redstone signal. Simple. So those ingredients will go there and the little equation will go here. Output redstone signal. Wonderful. So when there's a mob there, redstone will be emitted. So we can go redstone. Um, we can also specify in here 
do a strong power. We want it to output a lot, right? Not just a tiny little, a tiny little bit. Um, so here outputs redstone uh, doohickey. This can then go around. And what is the best approach? I think what we do is we pick this up. We place it here. We pick this up and this up. And we could actually get away with doing this. And then, and then here's where the, the tricky part happens. Um, you go there. We grab a repeater. The repeater will go here. That is going to go into a block, for example, dirt, that will have a torch on the back of it. And I'll show you how this works. A oh, redstone torch, sorry. <laughs> um, I'll show you how this works. So, obviously, it has redstone, so it is now spawning a mob. What we should see is once that mob spawns, Redstone should be emitted and it should turn off this torch just like that So now that there's a mob there this guy automatically turns himself off no more mob How perfect is that? I mean, it's it's genuinely the perfect setup So then over here this guy's obviously getting uh, mashed up and whatnot Once again for the sake of um finishing this little creation We'll pick we'll pick him up, but as you can see like he will work this will work So all I need to do is then have a spot for the finished items to go and we have this thing fully automated Oh, which reminds me, yeah, he's actually going to start up again. We we actually don't want that. Hold on. <laughs> Pause for a second. Uh, our system works a little bit too good. A little bit too well. Um, we can obviously put speed upgrades in that guy too, but once again, it's a, we're, we'd probably only see a small increase in in profits. Um, so, chest. Nah, sure. We're going to grab this guy, slap him here. Uh, we'll put him down one, just because I think that'll just be easier. He will obviously have an item collector on top. Um, sure. It can be a massive range. Why not? Why shouldn't it? This guy will be entangled. And we'll go ahead and place him over where the spawners are down here. In this little zone. Um, just because why not? So we'll go entangle. Boom. Uh, we probably will want two of them. And I guess we'll place them here. Sure. So you're going to be entangled. You are obviously the chest that will be uh, retrieving the goodies. Then we will have another entangled block here. Um, and that will be the guy that, uh, da -da 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 where are we? This guy here. It'll be this guy to receive jelly babies. <laughs> um, because they're things we have, apparently. Um, so, uh, you know what? You're probably going to come with me and, and you'll go somewhere else. But, but this guy should be fine. So you will have an importer. Wonderful. So already, this thing's good to go. It's genuinely good to go. I'm pretty sure I can just place this, uh, this torch back on. Let this guy run, and I think we're good. One thing I would say would be, hey, let's go ahead and make sure all this is force loaded. Um, I don't know the exact chunks we need, but I'm playing single player, so I can do what I want. Boom. Awesome. <laughs> so we'll let that do its thing. In terms of the jelly babies, they're created, obviously, uh, over here. Uh, we actually did have an entangled block there in prep, but we can place that guy there, and he should fill up with jelly babies. Yeah, he's full. Beautiful. It's, it's flawless. Uh, it might not be flawless, but it's... It's working at the very least. So, what we should do now is search for, um, I forgot, blue skies. We should grab out all of the bags we have. We currently have four loot bags. And that way we can compare directly in the next episode how many we've gotten. Or, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, in the meantime, boom, boom, boom. We got ourselves one nature arc, one nature arc, one nature arc, one nature arc. Now, I will point out what you guys are probably thinking, which is, uh, there are only one hearts, and we kind of, it says we need two hearts. I believe I'm still in difficulty hard, but it could be because I'm not the one defeating this mob. Although, to be fair, a few of them, in fact, all of those bags, except for, like, a few of them, uh, I, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm not, not too certain on, uh, on the math behind it all. But, I, hey, we, we can see how it works. We'll be able to see see what we're dealing with. But yeah, I am honestly really happy with this system. Um, it, it appears as though it's going to work wonderfully. And, and I, I couldn't be happier. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider subscribing. It helps out my channel quite a bit. But in saying that, we have grown an insane amount. So thank you. Um, a big thank you to those of you who have already subscribed and, and, and helped us get as far as we have. We've got some good, beautiful plans happening. We, we this year, honestly, we knocked out a lot of work in terms of um, behind the scenes stuff, like um, for setting up the server and, and and I guess getting the ball rolling in terms of um, our server community content and stuff. So if you're interested in 
playing as part of the community, we, we are putting more into that um, behind the scenes, which is, should be really good. Should be. Um, like with some events, some challenges, um, all, all, all that sort of fun stuff. And all whilst hopefully having the server run pretty well because we, we've done a lot of work uh, trying to get that set up nicely. And, and I think... Oh, <laughs> I, I'm really happy with this. I'm going to stand back a bit so I don't magnet anything up. It should all be fully automated. We should get a bag at the end of this. Okay. And we should also get another one spawned naturally. I'm not touching anything. Oh, you shouldn't be a thing. You're a thing because... On top of the reader is experience, I think. Because this shouldn't be outputting redstone. Yeah, this, this shouldn't be outputting redstone because there's no entity. Vengeance spirit. There's an invisible beast. There's a venge... Uh, there's this... Wow. Evidence of a ghost. Do we see it? I don't see it. <laughs> um, oh, it's gone. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. We've got a... We gotta call the Ghostbusters, but regardless, we should hopefully see the machine start back up. Beautiful. And in the meantime, we should also have a loot bag from this guy, which we do. And the loot bag is going to give us, oh, a level three nature arc. So if you had any doubts, any at all, they have now been squandered. We also got a pretty cool ingot, apparently. Uh, everything's losing its mind about the fact that we got this ingot. Uh, it's ha having a crazy time. But yeah, oh, awesome. Fully automated. Like, like, full, like, boom, hands off, hands free. Don't touch anything. Th this is awesome. Th I'm really happy with how this is going. So, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you uh, have enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in the next one. Um, oh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I've loaded up Bing. <laughs> okay, goodbye.